Hello everyone, this is Daniel with another tutorial on Magic of Voxel and Unity. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a sliding door. And uh, this tutorial is going to be pretty special because I actually have no idea how to animate a sliding door. And I'm going to try to figure it out. I have a lot of faith that by the end of this video we're going to have it working. So let's see. First thing we need to do is go in our rigging editor and pick a Vox file. We're gonna pick our door here and figure out where it is. Should be under here, 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 and here. All right, and here is our sliding door. All right, so first thing we need to give it some bones. And I think this is the right side. This is the correct side. We want it sliding to the left. So to give it some bones, first of all, I'm gonna maximize this so we can see all of this better. We're gonna go new bone. And here it is, bone number zero. Now, this location will just not do, so we're gonna move it here. And we're gonna add a child bone to that. We're gonna call that bone one. Let's zoom into it here. And we're gonna move it this way and down. Let's move our bone zero. Let's move it all the way here. And let's have our bone one this way. Oh, actually it should be the other way. Bone zero should be here. And bone one should be here. All right. And then let's maybe move it a little bit more in the center here. I don't think that matters that much in this situation, in this case, but we'll see. All right, so bone one, let's move it more this away. Okay. By the way, we can, re we can rename our bones, but in this case, I think I'm good with bone zero and bone one. All right, so the next thing we need to do is assign bone one, which is right here, some weight. So we're gonna paint the weight and we're gonna have this whole section right here as the weight for bone one. Let's see, is it on this side as well? Yep, that's it. So bone one now should be controlling this area right here. Stop painting. All right, and let's see if it works, I don't know. We're gonna create the rig prefab and we're gonna call it uh, sliding door animation test. Whoops. Test. All right. Now we're gonna get out of this. Uh, we're gonna go back to our scene. Uh, and let's see. It should be showing up in our assets. Yeah, there it is. Sliding door animation test. So let's go back to our scene. We're gonna go to the part that's far away from everything else. We're gonna put this in here. And we're gonna open the prefab view. All right, and you can see our bones right here bone zero and bone one. Uh, we're gonna need to open up the animator. And this is where Unity might fail on us because, oh, sorry, before we open the animator, we need to add an animator component to it. All right, uh, this is where Unity might fail on us or the, rather the recording software that I'm using uh, because it doesn't show additional windows that I open. So, yeah, you might not see the window that I'm opening, but I'll try to just talk through it. So I'm gonna click on animation, and that's gonna open the animation window. Now I'm gonna click on our sliding door animation and we're gonna create a new animation. We're gonna call this slide door. And uh, what we need to do is we need to add a property. We're gonna go to our root, 
bone zero and our child, which is bone one, and we are going to change its transform. And in transform, we have position, rotation, and scale. I think that what we need to do is change its scale, but we're gonna add both scale and position for this just to see which one works best. So root, bone zero, bone one, transform, and position. All right, so in our animation window right here, I just closed it by mistake, uh, our current animation is one second long, which I don't think is long enough. We're gonna make it two seconds long. So 120 samples. We're, we're also gonna erase the last sample because we don't want this to be a looping animation. You know, two seconds might be too long. Let's make it 90 samples. All right, I think that's better. All right, so here now we need to uh, 45, 77, and 90. Okay, what we need to do is we need to make sure that by 90, let's see, the bone one position will be, yeah, so by changing the position, it actually moves the whole door. So I think what we're going to want to do is change the scale. Yeah, and does this work? I think this works. Scale on the right here. We need to change its scale. We're gonna need to change both position and scale. Okay, I got it. So it seems like what we need to do is go to position and move it all the way. Oops. I'm gonna move it all the way. Bone one position, okay. We're gonna move it all the way here. But as we're doing that, we also need to make sure that we reduce its scale. So we're gonna save the keyframe for the position. And then for scale, we're gonna reduce it to this. And we're gonna save the keyframe. Let's see how that looks like. Pretty good. That's pretty great, actually. All right, and that's a tutorial on how to animate the sliding door in Unity. It's probably the worst tutorial out there because you can't see my animation window, but oh well, at least it works. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.